am by no means a chef, but I'm a reasonably accomplished home cook. And what that means for me is making good, real food, and also making the meal experience something special every night. So let's take a look at this very simple chicken dish I prepared for dinner. It's just boneless chicken breast, cooked about three minutes on each side in olive oil, seasoned with salt and pepper, and then I made a bechamel sauce. And then I like to deglaze the pan with my secret cooking wine, vermouth. This is my favorite vermouth. It's called Nolly Pratt, obviously French. Take about a half a cup of that and I deglaze the pan. So I get all of those little brown bits from the chicken. Then I add that vermouth to the bechamel sauce. Now that has the same flavor profile as the tarragon. Vermouth, after all, is white wine infused with herbs. So in this case, that anise mint flavor is present in the tarragon. It's magnified in the vermouth. And then we choose a wine to go with it to make it something really special. Well, this Vernazia is from San Gimignano in Italy. Neil Rosenthal once said that really good wines proudly announce to you where they come from. This comes from a single village, and this is known for its anise, fennel, mint-like flavors. Traditionally and ironically, it's often paired with pork and sauerkraut. Why is that? Because Sauerkraut often has caraway seeds. And caraway seeds have that same anise flavor. In this particular case, the anise flavor of the wine mirrors the tarragon in the bechamel sauce. And that elevates your Wednesday night supper to something really special.